So, first off, tell me about the concert, John. The concert was, uh, as I remember it, uh, really incredible. Um, uh, I mean, what can I say it was John Lennon and everybody else? Unfortunately, the rest of the Beatles didn't perform there. But, uh, well, did you realize at the time that you were seeing something that would be uh, regarded as historic, ultimately? Uh, not at all. No? Not Just another all. concert? Just or? Well, it had to be somewhat historic. Uh, just the fact that John Lennon was getting up there for and he was, what, for the purpose that the concert was being uh, held to uh, raise funds for what the support of what was then Willbrook State School in Staten Island. And, uh, but not as historic as, as it is now. Well, what did you think of the message of the concert at the time? Uh, I don't know if I was really so much into the message of the concert as I was just into the performance, the music, and uh, also part of what going to a concert at that time for me was uh, photographing it. Back in the day you could go in with a tripod and a big lens, unlike today when uh, you can't take anything in. What equipment did you use? Uh, I was concert. using uh, a Nikon FTN with a Nikon 300 millimeter lens, ectochrome, high speed ectochrome 160. So what did you think after the fact of the media's reaction? Well, you expect it from the media. Uh, a bunch of jerks, what can I say? Okay. In 1980, where were you when you heard the news about John Lennon's death? Uh, I was uh, listening to WNEW-FM, Vince Scales was on the air, and uh, he broke with this news bulletin. And John Lennon had been shot and they're trying to get more information. And I, I remember Scott Muni coming in uh, at the time. Uh, Scott Muni, at the, uh, Scott Muni's wife was having a baby in this, and she was in a room opposite Yoko and Yoko was having a baby so they became very good friends so Scott uh, kind of had an insight to what was going on. And from that point on all they did was play Beatles music and John Lennon music and whatever. So now, 30 years later, what moved you on this anniversary to share your photographs of the 72 concert? Uh, I kind of forgot about it, and then all the recent TV shows that have been on brought all the memories back. I said, i got to dig out these slides, scan them, and share them with people. All right. Well, thank you very much for doing so and for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you.